I'm Al Sutherland with your Mesonet Weather Report. Fall has decided not to cool down this year. We just keep chugging along with surprisingly warm temperatures. Tuesday afternoon, the highs in the panhandle were in the upper 80s. Hooker and Eva hit 88 degrees. Westville and Cookson were the cool spots with afternoon highs of 76 degrees. Our warm afternoons have led to warming, not cooling soil temperatures. The average soil temperature for Tuesday for bare soil at 4 inches ranged from a low of 63 at Boy City, Eva, and Miami to 73 at Hugo. Typically, in the last week in October, we would expect cooling soil temperatures. A seven-day graph of four-inch bare soil temperature for Shawnee does show a drop in soil temperature on October 20th. Five days later, the four-inch bare soil temperature had cycled its way up to an afternoon high of 77 degrees. On Wednesday morning, the soil only cooled to 66 degrees. That's warm for late October. October, when we expect the leaves to be falling and the wind to bite a little with chilly temperatures. Here's Gary with a look at our drought designations in Oklahoma and a look at November. Thanks, Alan. Good morning, everyone. Well, it should come as no shock to anybody who's been in Oklahoma for the last several months that drought continues to be a concern and building drought is continuing across parts of the state. So let's take a look at that latest drought monitor map and see the bad news. Well, we still see that problem area down across the, the, the eastern, southeastern parts of the state. We have severe drought um, across parts of, uh, from central down into southeastern Oklahoma, moderate drought surrounding that area with abnormally dry conditions and even in an even larger area. But the new area of concern is now the Oklahoma Panhandle in the far northwest where dry weather Weather continues to cause problems, uh, especially with ag producers. We have lots of reports of uh, wheat not uh, coming up, uh, still needing to rain, and wheat that's been dusted in. And let's take a look at the percent of normal rainfall from just the last 30 days. Um, you can see across much of the state, including the Panhandle in northwestern Oklahoma, sometimes less than 60, less than 40, and even less than 20 percent of the normal rainfall over that 30-day period. Um, so drastically dry conditions in those areas driving that drought intensification. Now with the November outlooks from the Climate Prediction Center, we have good news and bad news. Now the bad news is they both show for temperature and precipitation increased odds of above normal temperatures um, and below normal precipitation. That's not good. That's that's drought intensification uh, recipe right there. Now the good news is these aren't written in stone and they don't always come true. Um, the, the odds are just increased in that favor. So what we need to worry about now coming off one of the warmest and driest Octobers on record in the state of Oklahoma would be wildfire concerns. Those day-to-day -day weather conditions will be important uh, for uh, wildfire safety. So that's something to uh, uh, keep in contact with your, your favorite uh, weather source about. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report. <laughs>